Greetings. So it seems like after the years we are finally getting a PP patch. And on top of that, it is changing something I have brought up in a previous video. Obviously this pleases me to no end. To those who are out of the loop, basically after this update Hidden will give these multipliers to PP. Please note that there are more to the calculations. In a nutshell, the 1.18 PP multiplier was on aim before the update. But after the update, it is on speed, which previously gave no bonus for hidden. AIM still has a slight 1.02 multiplier, probably so the change wouldn't be too drastic for most people. But wait! I thought aiming streams is the hardest with hidden. Shouldn't AIM get higher multiplier? Well, I cannot completely agree with that, but the change aims to buff flow aim with hidden and nerf hidden jump aim. You see, the spacing between streams is actually not counted towards aim in PPv2, but rather, it is counted towards speed. That's right. As you can see on this chart, the maps with the highest speed values aren't the ones those are objectively the fastest, like time freeze, but rather those that feature spaced streams. Just by adding hard rock, some of these maps gain almost twice the speed PP. This is purely intended and I have no problems against using the quirks of PPV2 to further balance it. It's just, this feels like putting a band-aid on another band-aid. However, the most important thing right now is that we are actually getting a PP patch. And it is actually a slight improvement, so let's save the complaining to another video. Instead, let's do something we haven't done in a very, very long while. Let's have some fun. Who will be the biggest winners of this update? We will have 5 tiers, from S to D. Obviously these will be generalizations, but these stereotypical player types can be very real. First let's look at the biggest losers of this update, the pure aim hidden farmers. These players usually have their top scores on maps that are almost completely made out of single taps, with crazy spacing. For example, Kira Kira Days, Candy, Choco Cookie, etc. These players are unable to stream more than 5 notes and sometimes even have troubles with triplets. However, almost all of their top scores are close to SS, or in fact, are SS scores. Because they cannot stream, the buff to space streams with hidden does not help them at all, even though pretty much all of their scores are with hidden. Even the slight buff on the actual fast maps cannot help them, because their scores are pure jump aim. They rarely use hidden in itself, but rather pair it with double time or hard rock, which is why they were so effective at farming. But that ends now. They utilize the low density and high approach rate to perfect their single tapping and jump aim abilities. They are, by definition, the one trick ponies of O's, and this rebalance justifiably hit them the hardest. Next we have the C tier players. The hidden only players, those are actually not one trick ponies like those in the D tier, but still not quite on the level as some of the higher tiers will be. They can usually stream quite well, so you can often see them getting pretty high accuracy on consistency maps with hidden. But their biggest source of PP is still from the aim, since they cannot really read high approach rate and or cannot get near SS accuracy on high OD, they tend to avoid hard rock and double time. The reason why they get hit by the update, even though they are somewhat good at streaming, is because their top plays usually don't have any spaced streams. The majority of the PP still comes from aiming, but they substitute the lower OD with higher object count. But those streams still give a little bit of speed, so that counterbalances a bit. On the B tier, we have the so-called... Uh, do I really have to use this term? It's such a six digit thing to say. Yeah, well, if you are not putting it in, don't expect six digit views either. Ah, uh, fine. So, on the B tier, we have the DT formats. These players utilize the high approach rate double time can give, which is often above R10, to play very, very fast maps. Their major difference from the D tier 1 trick ponies is that these B tier players are pretty fast. You might see them bursting through 240, 250, sometimes even 270 BPM. And since the high approach state lowers the node density, hidden is still very viable. Still, 
Most of the top plays of these players are mainly aim maps due to the current meta. And since raw speed doesn't really give all that much speed compared to space streams, they still lose a substantial amount of PP with this update. Nevertheless, if they start farming different kinds of maps now, they might very well climb up into A tier, or even higher. So for example, Rafis or Azerite. Those who cannot adapt well, they will be staying in B tier. Speaking of A tier, they are the players, those don't use hidden at all. I mean, this tier is pretty straightforward. You don't use hidden, your, mod your PP doesn't change. Simple as that. They might have some hidden scores on the most farming maps, but overall most of their best plays are made without hidden. Since most players have been hit very hard with this update due to how important hidden was in this long-standing meta, no hidden players actually climb quite a lot of ranks without actually gaining any PP. Players of this tier include Itka, Silver, Dustis to a certain extent and, actually, yours truly, that as well. So we have gone through these tiers and nobody really gained any PP from this. You might say that this hidden update is a hidden nerf actually, but oh no, there are some players those actually gain some PP from this. These mythical S-rank creatures might not be the fastest, and they might be pretty bad at jump aim compared to the other players around their ranks, but they have the necessary skills to actually gain PP from this update. These players are the flow aim consistency players, those use hidden. They usually also have exceptional accuracy as well. These players can set crazy accuracy scores and they will be the first ones to set hard rock hidden scores on maps with only no mod or hidden FCs. With hidden giving major bonuses on space streams, flow aim accuracy players not only don't lose any PP, but they will be the only ones to actually gain some. Players in this tier include Young, Rohulk, Hollow Watcher, and Vivilium. But wait, Vato! Since these players are weak in speed, doesn't that mean that there is one more tier above S? Well, yes, there is. I didn't want to include this tier, because it can only be acquired through adapting to the changes. Currently, there are no players in this tier. But there are a few candidates those could actually reach the forbidden S plus tier. The S plus tier is reserved for the players those can do everything S tier players can. But on higher BPM, I'm talking about 240 BPM continuous space streams like the bursts on Genyu Kaiko, but with double time. This is a level where hard work alone might not be enough. This is where talent comes into play. How do you know? Just get those shameless PP mappers to map relatively high BPM space streams. I can't wait for the sudden change in certain mappers' mapping style after some of the future PP updates. So much for that vision, huh? But anyway, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Potential candidates for the S plus tier are Cookiezy, obviously, and GameXZ, aka BroGamer72. Whether they will pursue these high BPM space stream scores with hidden are completely up to them. I might have forgotten a few people, so if you think there are some players who could be S plus tiers, leave them down in the comments below. Obviously, these tiers don't represent which playstyle is worth the most in the current meta, but rather which kind of players were the biggest winners and losers of this update. As for my personal thoughts, I'm somewhat conflicted on it. For one, it's great that we are getting some updates those shake up the meta a bit that has been abused for three years now. But on the other hand, density is completely ignored. The main difficulty of hidden comes from how much and what kind of patterns you can process continuously before the nodes completely disappear. I believe below a certain threshold of complexity and density, Hidden is pretty much just a preference without actually affecting difficulty. Heck, it might even make some stuff easier. But regardless, implementing those aspects will be very difficult and could actually bring up more issues than it would solve. For example, people could replace a huge part of reading difficulty with memory. Being conservative with hidden is fine for now. If you have watched some of my previous videos, 
You may know that I don't really like the idea of awarding the same mechanical execution, different performance values, and hidden basically does that. But I realize that is a very radical view and the community isn't ready for it yet. Now, the issue of hidden amplifying the overweightedness of certain maps is somewhat fixed. And finally getting an update feels like a fresh breath of air after staying in your basement without air circulation for three bloody years! Oh, and just as a side note, to those who are bitching about the change ruining their hard work, making them lose all the X100 PP scores they had and dropping them off from the XK PP club, grow a pair, holy shit. <laughs> Can you be less pathetic please? You never deserved those scores. You knew they were overrated as hell, which is why you were going for them in the first place. Now I guess you'll have to actually improve to be at the same rank. How sad. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think this is a good step forward? Are you an S tier master race? Or a D tier scrub? Let me know down in the comments. I'm sure you do.